Hello, I'm Sky Gallegos. I work for the Democratic National Convention Committee, and I'm here in Steamboat Springs, where we just had a convention briefing and delegate training with myself and our state chair, Pat Walk. Today we were talking about um, two things. One was to give them a little bit of an overview of the convention itself, and then also to highlight how important this convention is to the West and the future of our party and then also to get them excited about all the different ways they can be involved in the convention, whether they live here in Steamboat or in one of the surrounding areas or in Denver. My name is Pat Walk and I live in Erie, Colorado. I am the chair of the Colorado Democratic Party and I came here today with the DNCC, Sky Gallegos, to talk about the convention and what's going to be happening next year um, here in Colorado, as well as to do some training on caucuses and the state partnership program. Some of the things we talked about today, obviously it's important um, if they have the time and energy to run for delegate. They really put our nominee on the path to victory and they have an important role in this and we're looking for committed folks who want to um, take on that role. Uh, another way is to obviously to volunteer. Um, volunteers are incredibly important to uh, putting on a task um, of this ma an event of this magnitude. I'm Paul Bonifield. I was born and raised in northwestern Colorado, and uh, right now I'm working as just simply a cowboy. And what it means to me to have the convention in the state is it's the first time in my life when I feel like we've actually had a voice in who's going to run for the presidency. We are the gateway to the West, and there are lots of changes going on here. Um, on behalf of Democrats, and we want the nation to look west. It's important to me. It's very important to think, finally, I'm going to get to say who's going to represent me. My name is Cynthia Roselle, and I'm from Steamboat Springs, Colorado. This is an exciting, exciting time in the Mountain West, certainly in the state of Colorado. Colorado, it is an opportunity for us to show off our great state and the great transition we're making from red to blue. You can win a presidential election by putting together the smaller states. To have the convention here in Denver, I think means that we have a, a, an incredible chance to really educate people all around the country about what um, all, all the different walks of life and all the different kinds of Democrats that we have in Colorado and in the entire Rocky Mountain West. The West is, uh, the West, is the West. It has its own personality, its own character. We still can hang both a lot to the past. As a cowboy, I still do things the same way we did uh, 100 years ago. We're still very much looking to the future. We in the West are ready to be put together, and we are putting ourselves together, and we are putting ourselves together in 2008 in Denver, Colorado, for a new Democratic President of the United States. We're asking people all around the state to take pictures of the people and places in their communities so that we can show delegates and other visitors to Denver what the West looks like through Western eyes. We'll have those um, pictures posted online and then also hopefully showcase them convention week themselves. Yeah. Pat and I are going to go to Fort Collins uh, next in a few weeks. After that we're going to go to Durango. Um, we're also going to be in the San Luis Valley uh, later on in December. It's really an, uh, an opportunity to reach out to local citizens to make them part of what's happening. Um, in this state, for many years, it was very Denver-centric, and we've tried to make sure that everybody feels a part of what's happening in the state. So if I had to say one other thing, I would say welcome to the Mountain West and welcome to the Mountain West of change.